folks, this is a short tutorial on how to make a mission. First thing we're going to do is open the mission planner 1.2.38. Uh, I've got a shortcut on my desktop to do just that and here she comes. It's open. Notice that uh, we've got a Google map, we've got the HUD attitude indicator, and we've got some uh, quick telemetry. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure that we're working in units that we expect to be working in. So let's go to the configuration page and notice that we're not connected to the copter. We don't need to be, um, but we do get some messages here that we'll have to clear. So we'll have to say OK to this and then we can go to the planner and once in the planner you'll notice that I have selected units for distance in feet um, we could have selected meters in the pull down box if we had preferred. And I like to deal in knots. You notice that we've got lots of selections there feet per second, miles an hour, etc. Uh, but I like to work in knots. So there we are. Now let's go back to uh, the flight planner. And you'll notice we're back on the Google map. And there's a teardrop that says home. Uh, we can pick this teardrop up and we can move it all over the place, but I'm going to move it in the vicinity of my house since that's where this mission is going to depart from. Let's zoom in. We can zoom in and out using the uh, zoom scale here. So we'll zoom in and I'm going to pick up that home point and I'm going to move it over right there. That'll be the uh, takeoff point. That's where I'm going to set the copter down and that's where I'm going to depart from. Notice that we also have uh, two chevrons on the green bar labeled waypoints down at the bottom of the Google Maps. And I'm going to click on those two chevrons so that I can see what's down here. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit to give me a little bit more room. So there we go. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my waypoint radius. This will be the radius that the copter has to fly within before it'll set up to fly to the next waypoint. 20 feet seems like a good number to use. Uh, the loiter radius is the uh, radius that it'll loiter in if it were to loiter. And uh, the default altitude, I've done the surveying around this area that I'm going to be flying in and I've determined that actually 45 feet will be high enough to clear the train and the trees and the shrubs that are in this area that I'm going to be flying in and that is 45 feet above the takeoff point. Then we've got a couple boxes we can check. We can verify height against the Google map and if we're flying up to a hillside it might be good to uh, click the verify height box so that we don't fly into a hill inadvertently. We also have the return to launch uh, segment of our mission checked which means that when we return to the launch point we're going to do that at a fault altitude of 45 feet unless we specify something otherwise. Now it's very easy to build a mission. We simply move our mouse up to where we want our first waypoint to go and we left click. There we go. Then we're going to move down here somewhere and we'll left click again. And we'll move down here somewhere and we'll left click again. And we now have waypoint number one. I'm going to cross at 45 feet. Waypoint two, I'm going to cross at 45 feet. Waypoint three, I'm going to cross at 45 feet. But this is not all we're going to have. Uh, I'm going to add below. So I'm going to click on waypoint three. I'll click the add below button. Uh, you notice it's all zeros in there. Do the pull down box. I want to return to launch. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to leave everything zeros. The aircraft or the uh, copter will return to home now at the default altitude of 45 feet. So very simple. Um, oh shoot, let's, uh, let's not go to waypoint number two. I click on to waypoint number two and I right click and I'm going to delete that waypoint. 
Very simple. Now I've got a simpler mission. So let's go with this. Real quick, right click, go to File, Load, Save, Save Waypoint File. We'll save it on my desktop. I'll give it a name of Jim. And we'll hit the Save button. Folks, that's how easy it is to build a mission using Mission Planner 1.2.38.